Okay, good morning. Here we are on the outside now. This is a trash can cleaning truck. We just got back from the wrap. And as you can see, the valves do not have the handles on them. This is your bypass valve. This is, I believe, your uh, driver's side and your passenger. And this is for your wand. So if you'll notice here, all of the stems are pointing out. And the stem has this little hole right there in it for the set screw to fit in, but we're not gonna use this set screw, we're gonna use a hex nut. Uh, and they should have been in the box when we sent them to you. So as you'll notice here, all the valves are, are flush onto the truck. You'll, right there, this little this nut is threaded on here tightly uh, to make sure it's secure into the wall. So the most important thing is you get that handle on there properly. So we've got our thread lock right here. Here it is, it's blue, I've taken the lid off. And oops, dropped it now. The most important thing is what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of thread lock inside the oops, inside the handle there. And you know, you can be you know, you don't have to be conservative, but don't go crazy. So we're gonna put some in the hole here and in the thread shaft. So you wanna make sure when you put your handle on that you can read the manufacturer's name, which is Parker on this one, so don't put it on incorrectly. So if it's upside down, you have it on wrong. So we're just going to go with the bypass. And so you, if you'll notice, the bypass is up and down. So I'm going to have to put it on this way. So we're going to just take it here. We're going to make sure that we have it pressed down all the way. Because if you don't get it pressed down all the way, this little notch right there will not hit this little notch. And if it doesn't, then you're just going to spin around. So you have to make sure you put it on there all the way. Firmly on there. So now it's on there. So now we've got to with our hex nut on. Right, remember it's a one quarter 20. You could start it before you put it on there just to pre-thread it, but no big deal. So I'm gonna just hand thread it here. And make sure it's on there firm. So then what I'm gonna do is get my 7 sixteenths right there. Simply take it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I just get it a little bit to here, tighten it. Then I'm gonna just make sure it's firm on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just crank it down. Crank it pretty hard, as hard as you can. So now we're, we're on there really tight. So that allows us to turn it. It says Parker right there. Now, if you can get an eighth inch, it'd be better, but I've not been able to find a 1 8 20 so it's a 1 quarter 20 hex nut uh, if you order them from us we'll send four with you uh, i usually take out the little set screw so now your hand was on there the most important thing is that it's not moving out so so it's, we're going to make sure that we tighten it make sure it's tight all the way i mean here we go so one crank there so now your handle's here so now if you can see my handle's a little cockeyed I can just unloosen this and tighten it, but for right now, it's sufficient enough. So you're just gonna go through and do the same procedure on this one, on that one, and this one. Just make sure that it's it's tied onto the truck so it doesn't come off or get loose. And uh, let that thread lock dry a little bit and you'll be good to go and your handle should stay on. Just check these on a daily basis. Uh, just make it part of your routine that your handles are tight and all the uh, hex nuts are tight and that uh, all of your valves are secure and flush onto the side of the truck. When you're done, put your tools up, Get on the road and start cleaning some bins. Sean from the Trash Can Cleaners. Thank you.